Thanks you guys for coming out. We are Five Iron Frenzy from Denver, Colorado.
heavy. Ho, oh, ho. Oh. No more floating. Sorry. I saw like five people get kicked in the face. All right? You guys be careful out there. When you guys dance, dance like up and down and around with it. When you push some people forward, they're like, get their face, hit the speakers. All right, please, we don't want to stop the concert. Do not float. Please do not float. If you float, you're out. Sorry. Everybody needs to be nice to each other for the rest of the night. I don't know whose shoes these are. We've got a whole pile of shoes up here, but these shoes are the coolest shoes I've ever gotten thrown at me. And I got, a, I got a complete set, and they don't fit me, which is too bad, because otherwise I'd just steal them. But if these are your shoes, they're yours? Oh, thanks, but that's not as cool as this shoe. These are the coolest shoes I've ever seen, so... Those are my shoes to anybody, man. Hey, friend, so um, if you want, you can turn me down in the monitor. I know you never hear that. That's our sound guy back there, Fred. He's a rocker. Good in the mix. Fred is just his nickname. His real name is Sound Dude. His real name is Sound Dude. Are you guys in high school? Uh, is anyone here in junior high school? Yeah. Oakwood Christian Church. This sucks for you guys. It's about getting in junior high school. So nobody likes you. Got sucker punch.
I gotta pull the string and then it comes up, but Oh, yeah. 
Bu soru.
National Head Lice Prevention Month. I'm not making this up. I want you all to prevent head lice. Right now, find someone who you don't know and check their head for lice or for nits, which are the small white eggs that lice lay on the base of the hair follicle. This is a beautiful thing, and I'd like to thank you all for participating in National Head Lice Prevention Month. Thank you. Here's an old song, it's about Denver, Colorado, hanging out, riding the bus and stuff.
are you gonna sing a cover we're song get it. again? Yeah. Do it! I think this we started so good. Right you guys wanna hear me sing a song? I've never oh. sung a song before. Yeah. I've never done it before, so I hope I don't mess it up. Does anybody remember a band called Vengeance Rising? Anybody? Hey. Oh. It's for you guys. It's a cover song by Vengeance Rising. Dennis is gonna sing background vocals, and so is Micah. Maybe Brad too. You gonna sing some? Jeff, wanna sing some background vocals? Okay. We're all gonna sing background vocals on this song. And it goes out to the people who remember Vengeance Rising, the true metalheads out there. Oh, this is now 
time to add another song. So don't get divorced, uh, especially if you have kids, because it, it really stinks. So that sounds like we come to the And uh, before I say, it kind of bums you out. Uh, well, this is a slow dancing song. And maybe you're out there tonight and you met that special person. And, uh, just start slow dancing right now. I made that up. <laughs>
stickers. Hey! And Brad threw out a free patch. I feel let down, right? I want to give something away. A plastic bag! Yeah! Oh, don't try to break them up. Brush and Danny, you let your brush they put it out there to encourage you to check each other for Please, I want your water. I want your water. And this is the only one I have. I'm I don't sorry. care. I want your water. <laughs> I want your money. This way you can go on to the show. This is our last one. I want the water. And then you can go get all the water you want. Let's go. This is our last song. Um, this song is a prayer. It's about being tired. It's about how our God can make every day new. I'd like to dedicate this song to my friends Monica and Stacy, and to my friend and roommate Andrew, who also plays drums. This song's a prayer, and it's okay to put your hands up. It's okay to praise God, because that's what this song's about.
So you guys, uh, how thankful I am to be a part of this. Uh, see, because the cool thing about this is it has nothing to do with Five Iron Frenzy and W's or Switchfoot. Uh, it has to do with the Lord. And uh, sometimes I get overwhelmed because uh, 
Three years, three years ago, I was just a biology student, and uh, one day God decided to, to use us to do something and hopefully make a change in this world. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. Another really cool thing to me, though, is that <laughs> there's nothing special about anyone on stage here. Uh, you know, God has given us a little bit of talent, and He's taken us a long way. And uh, he could have used any, any schmuck off the streets to do it, but he was merciful enough to use us. And, and uh, I just pray that, that we'd never forget it. Uh, that you guys would never think we're something more than we are. But that we wouldn't take that for granted. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know uh, if God is said anything to you through our lyrics or maybe the show tonight. Maybe like Switchfoot said and the news. Uh, but it's just cool. I just want to take a second. I just want to give the praise up to God. Because uh, it definitely doesn't belong up here. So, uh, well, guys, thank you uh, for this night. For everybody that came here. Uh, for the people that put it on, for Stephen and Kellenberg, and his awesome heart. Uh, I just thank you for, for the inspiration that he is to me and uh, the other guys in the band. Um, I thank you for the other bands and them putting up with us and all our flaws and still wanting to tour with us and still, still hanging out with us and being our friends and loving us. I know that all glory comes back to you, God, in the end, but I just want to say right now that, that all the glory uh, for everything Five Iron Frenzy has ever been and for everything that's gone on tonight on this tour, God, that that just belongs to you. And uh, you started it. You can finish it any time you want. But, God, I just pray that you would, you would carry it to completion and that you would keep us humble. Um, I want to pray for the kids in the room tonight, God. Uh, something would be passed on. Um, I have nothing to give them, but I know, God, that your Holy Spirit is a comforter and that, you're, that you give strength and that you give peace. And, and uh, sometimes when we don't have the words to say, God, that you just put them in our mouths and that you totally fill us up with your Spirit, God. And I just pray for these kids tonight. Uh, for those of them that know you, that, that there would be something new in their lives, that they would... They would leave this place and they would, they would have an excitement for you, God, that you would just light a fire in them and that your Holy Spirit would just fill them up, God, and that they would go forth and they would speak bold things to their friends and to their family, to everyone that they meet, that people wouldn't just know they're a Christian because they have a starchy suit and, and uh, they talk Christianese, but because they are like Jesus Christ and that they're, they're trying to be like you, God. That's what matters most. And I just pray that you would, you would fill them with your Holy Spirit and that you would make that so. And I pray for those here who are struggling with getting to know you or that don't know you. Um, and I just pray that the Holy Spirit would just listen on them. And if you guys don't know who God is, I just pray that you'd ask Him, ask Him to show Himself to you. Because He'll show Himself. He, uh, he definitely will. And I just pray that you would make that so too, God. In Jesus' name, all this we pray, Lord. Amen. Cast me not away 
from thy presence, O Lord. Take now thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And renew my spirit within me. Remember, you know, no more witnesses everywhere.